The black oyster catcher is this derpy looking bird that's always intrigued me when I visit the rocky shorelines of California. They're loud, you can hear them calling from a mile away with the waves crashing all around, and they look just as funny as they sound. I traveled a few hours away from my home to the beach to capture these guys at sunset and try out some new creative techniques for rocky shorebird photography along the way. Recently inspired by the first ever wildlife photography competition held by YouTubers live that I had the privilege of hosting on my Bird Burger channel, I've been desiring some more creative and unique angles. But first, I had to get my standard safety shots down. Locating the black oyster catchers was easy, and I didn't have to spend but 15 minutes before I ran into a family of seven. I began to make my way closer to capture them from close up. Since I was forced to shoot down on them due to the nature of how close they were to the violent waves crashing against the rock, I got down low to use rocks in the foreground to help disguise the feeling of eye level. Here's a photo of two buddies just chilling by the ocean side. I went through a flurry of tight shots, capturing them with different basic backgrounds. Some turned out great, and my favorite one in particular was this one due to the beautiful ocean water complementing the rocky background from a further shore behind it. I also really enjoyed this one as it was a really good solid mix of color, lighting, and subject to background ratio in a well-composed image. I had a pretty diverse portfolio of them with the ocean waves crashing in the background. But I also wanted at least one frame-filled photograph of one that I saw in the distance resting. I made my way so close to the resting oyster catcher using foreground rocks as cover that I was able to capture this shot here incredibly close up. Probably one of my favorite details of the black oyster catchers are their amazing eyes as shown off in this shot. Darcidius also decided to make an appearance in this video. Come on, tell me this bird doesn't look funny. Back to reality, it was time to take some more unique creative angles once again. I'm new to the whole ocean photography thing, so as I'm sitting there, I'm beginning to notice how the sunlight reflects off of the ocean water uniquely, and I started to wonder how I could use it to my advantage for some dramatic bokeh effects. I moved myself around the subject to its backlit position so I could start taking some more creative silhouettes. The first decent attempt I had at this turned out alright. The composition didn't turn out exactly like I wanted, but I did like the texture of the ocean water bokeballs in the background. Knowing I could do better, I waited for the next opportunity. Eventually, one got into a better position where I could get a full body silhouette. As this moment happened, I noticed a wave approaching to crash the shoreline of the bird behind it. As it came, I fired off a burst of shots and got this cool moment silhouetted with a wave crashing around it. More opportunity came, and I continued to get a few more cool silhouette shots of the oyster catcher creatively. I was hoping to capture a mussel or some sort of catch in the oyster catcher's mouth during my time with them. I did manage to capture this video at one moment with some food, but more importantly, I did also wind up getting a half-decent portrait shot of one as shown here. My attention shifted elsewhere now though. There was a western gull that had been sitting there for the past hour, just taking a nap on the rock. Envisioning some similar creative takes, I started my approach with some backlit shots, but this time exposing both the subject and the background. There was a moment in which a single strongly prominent bokeball floated behind the goal, and this made for a really nice composition and accent to what otherwise could be a basic picture. Of course, I had to start trying some silhouettes again though, so I pulled up my shutter speed and got some incredible fiery bokeball backgrounds behind the goal. I loved the uniqueness here of capturing the fiery outline of the bird against the deep black rock and the darkness of the water. I had one more different photograph to have, and this was my chance since the goal was an easily cooperative subject. It's tempting to stay tightly framed in on every wildlife subject, but I wanted to pull my lens back out and try to capture some wide angles to close out this experience with the goal. I framed him tightly at 600mm and cropped, and then I pulled back to 200mm and a portrait, and finally a landscape showing the expanse of the ocean, with a rocky outcrop to balance out the frame. What an awesome portfolio of images to showcase the black oyster catcher and the western goal along the rocky shore. My adventure wasn't finished yet though. There's this place a short hike away called Bird Island. Every sunset, thousands upon thousands of birds flock here to spend the night. 
For a valley guy like me, these ocean phenomenons are always cool to watch, as it's something I don't get to experience often. For the protection from disturbance of the birds, you can't get close to the island, but I wanted to see what I could capture from the lookout as they flew by at sunset. Quickly, I also wanted to mention that I just released memberships on my channel, in which you guys can be a part of. For just $2 a month, you can become a member and gain awesome badges that identify you in the comments. Or, for a little more, you can actually become a higher level member and be invited onto a private Discord server to chat with me personally about wildlife photography and learn from me. Thanks for considering supporting me in this tiny way, it means a lot to me, and thanks for being a part of my community. Along the way, there was a small bay that had an otter swimming by it. These guys have to be just about one of the cutest animals God ever created, and I hope to one day get the chance to capture one well. From my overlook, I watched him tumble through the water and dive down into the darkness. Further up the trail, I noticed the top of a kelp forest. There were waterfowl, more otters, and a great egret floating atop the kelp and searching for what was his next meal. It's amazing how light and agile these top-tier hunters of the land and sea are. Eventually, I reached the viewpoint where there were thousands of cormorants, pelicans, and gulls swarming across the island. It was magical to watch and see them fly all around me. It's amazing to see how brown pelicans in particular, a bird that was endangered to go extinct just a few decades ago, has now made an incredible recovery thanks to conservation. Nature is resilient when we are careful to do our part in not destroying it and leaving space for the wild to be wild. While I captured a few shots in flight, most of the time, the birds were all flying too far off into the distance to really capture anything good. There was a singular brown pelican, however, that had landed close by to the rock I was on, and I was able to capture a good portrait of it peeking out from behind the rock and backlit by the stunning sunset. As I looked at the photo, however, it felt like it was still missing something to complete it. I walked a little ways over to my right and decided to use some brush in the foreground to complement the scene of the brown pelican perched on the rock. The results turned out gorgeous, and I loved the way the vibrant colors of the foreground complemented the backlit pelican and rock in the distance. Pulling out the focal length even wider provided for an additional, uniquely beautiful photograph, and I loved the way these two images turned out. As the sun set, the seabirds continued to pour in from all around the ocean, and I captured one shot of a fellow brown pelican landing close by a buddy on the rock nearby. What an incredible evening of bird photography and experiencing nature on the rocky shorelines of California. In two weeks, I'll be releasing my sunrise experience following this adventure, so if you enjoyed, I'd be honored if you subscribed to see that when it comes out. I'll see you guys next time.